Welcome to the Yuyang Industry Video Center, today we will assemble our latest ball screw CNC machine Queen Ant, which is independently developed by the Yuyang Industry team, and after many revisions, upgrades, tests and market certifications, finally launched this most good CNC machine. Ok, let's assemble this machine. First we assemble the Y-axis, prepare a Y-axis C-beam rail, a 2040V slot rail, two linear rails, these lengths are based on the size of the machine you ordered and then four linear blocks three linear guides M4 slide T nuts, M4 X14 cap screws, the quantity of screws and nuts is determined by the number of holes in your linear rail. Put 2040 V slot rail in the groove of 4080 C beam rail. Insert M4 slide T nuts. Place a linear rail next to the nut, and then arrange the position of the nut to be as consistent as possible with the hole on the linear rail. Use a screwdriver or other tools to adjust the position of the nut so that the hole of the linear rail coincides with the hole of the nut. Insert the M4X14 cap screw, turn the screw clockwise to make it into the thread of the nut, be careful not to tighten the screw, you can tighten the screw first, and then return one fourth turn, so ensure that the linear rail can slide freely. The length of the linear rail will be 5 mm shorter than the length of the C-beam rail, so adjust the position of the linear rail so that each end is the same distance from each end of the C-beam rail, and then attach the linear guides we provided to the C-beam rail, then arrange the rails and tighten the screws. Repeat this for another linear rail. For the linear block, it has a grease nipple. You can add it to the slider now, or you can replace it when you need to add grease. Here we don't change it first, there is a false rail on the linear block, so use the false rail slide the linear block into the linear rail. In this step, we make y-axis gantry assembly, and the things to be prepared are already displayed on the screen. Attach the nut housing to the ball screw with 6 M5 X15 low profile screws. 
you can place them on a flat table to ensure the nut housing and ball screw are flush. Use a 3mm screwdriver or 3mm wrench to tighten these screws. Flip the screw so that the bottom of the nut housing is facing up. Attach the Y gantry plate to the nut housing with 4M5X14MM round head screws. Use a 4mm wrench or screwdriver to tighten the screw, but do not completely tighten it, you can tighten it a little without shaking, this will be used to adjust the ball screw in the following steps. Put 4 spacer blocks on 4 linear blocks, put the Y gantry assembly on it, Adjust the position of the slider and the spacer to make it correspond with the holes on the Y plate, and then use the M4X32MM round head screw to tighten. When tightening the screw, it is better to operate in a diagonal direction, which can ensure the maximum uniform force. In this step we need to pre-install the double L bracket on the bottom of the Y-axis profile, for a 750 mm long Y-axis, you need to prepare 6 double L bracket, 8 for 1000 mm, 12 for 1500 mm, the M5X8MM low profile screws and M5T nuts will come with varies with number of double L brackets. Evenly divide the Y axis to form the same spacing, and make a mark. For example, for 750 mm long, mark at 243 mm and 486 mm for 1000 mm long, mark at 245 mm, 490 mm, 735 mm for 1500 mm long, Mark at 246.6 mm for 93.2 mm, 739.8 mm, 986.4 mm, 1233 mm. Insert the same number of M5T nuts into the upper and lower two slots at the bottom 6 PCS up and 6 PCS down for 750 mm long, 8 and 8 for 1000 mm, 12 and 12 for 1500 mm. For the double L bracket, notice that the holes down one side are not the same distance away from the corner edge as the holes on the other side. The side with the holes farthest to the corner edge should be attached to bottom by M5X8MM low profile screws, be careful not to fully tighten the screws so that the L bracket can slide but not wobble. Please pay attention to the direction of the L bracket.
except for the brackets at the beginning and the end, the brackets in the middle are opposite to each other. Find where we marked earlier, the corner edge should align with the mark, then fix it. Repeat this for A axis. The X axis linear assembly is same to Y axis, so here we speed this. In this step, we assemble the X axis back support, please note that different lengths require different quantities. Divide and mark the X axis, 3 equal parts for 750 mm, 4 equal parts for 1000 mm, 6 equal parts for 1500 mm. Insert the M5T nuts into the slot, this step is very important, do not insert too much or too little, 4 PCS for 750 mm, 5 PCS for 1000 mm, 7 PCS for 1500 mm. Then use M5X8 low profile screws to attach the black angle corner bracket to the X axis, please pay attention to the direction of the bracket, the end and the middle are not the same. Insert, 2 M5T nuts for 750 mm, 3 for 1000 mm, 5 for 1500 mm, into 2040 V slot, also insert the same number of M5T nuts on the other side. Attach black angle bracket to connect 2040 V slot and X axis, and fix at the location we marked earlier.
add black angle corner brackets at the two end of the 2040V slot. The x-axis ball screw assembly is same to y and a axis so here we speed this. This step is the same as the y-axis and a-axis gantry assembly, so we speed it up. Before doing this step, double check that if everything is done right. To do this step, you need to add a support at the bottom of the X axis or get someone to help. Put the ball screw into the bearing first, then use M5 20mm low profile screws to connect the X axis and Y axis and A axis. Remove the supports and check if the x-axis is vertical, you can keep adjusting the x-axis to achieve this, then tighten all the screws on both ends. As mentioned before, the number of black angle corner brackets in the middle section varies with length, 2 for 750 mm, 3 for 1000 mm, 5 for 1500 mm. Attach all black angle corner brackets on both ends of the X axis to the Y and A axis plates with M5 20mm low profile screws and M5 nylon lock nuts.
We made a brand new change on the bottom, making the 2040s traverse between the Y and A axis, which gave them point to point support, which not only stopped the Y and A axis from flexing, but also made the bottom more solid. For the support of the middle part, insert M5T nuts into the upper slots on both sides of the 2040 respectively. For the support of two ends, only insert M5T nuts into the upper slot on one side of the 2040. Here we will do the middle part first. When adding support, it is recommended to start from the middle to both ends, use M58 mm low profile screw to fix, but don't tighten, can slide but don't shake. Do same on other side. Repeat this for other supports. This step is critical, it determines whether your frame is square or not, so please spend more time on this. Now the bottom is built, and the bottom of the Y axis and A axis are also supported. In this step, we will assemble the Y and A end plate. Make sure the end of the V slot 2040 is flush with the side of the C beam. If it's an upgrade kit, the 2040 V slot on your old machine will be a bit longer, just cut short or stay the same, but needs to be moved to the appropriate location. Insert M5 slide T nuts into 2040 upper and lower slots respectively. Then attach the Y end plate with M5 16mm round head screws. Do not tighten the screws at this time as this is not the final position. Attach M5 20mm screws to the C-beam and tighten. Screw the ball screw into the bearing and add C-type snap ring. Repeat this for A axis. In this step, we will add motors to the Y and A axis. First we need to add a square lock nut to lock the ball screw. Pass through M5 60mm low profile screws, 40mm, 9mm aluminum spacer, jaw coupler respectively on the motor, and then attach to the Y end plate.
Tighten the screw on the jaw coupler. Repeat this step for the A axis and also X axis. In this step, we assemble the Z-axis linear rail. Unlike other machines, we use a longer Z-axis on the Queen Ant, and replace the small MGN-15 and MGN-15C with a stronger HGR-15 linear rail and linear block. This assembly is also the same as the X and Y and A axis assembly, so here we speed it up too. This step of assembly is also the same as X and Y and A axis gantry assembly, so here we also speed it up. In this step, we assemble the Z-axis end plate, please pay attention to the installation direction of the Z-end plate, the side with the recess should be outward. This step is also the same as the X and Y and A axis motor assembly, so speed it up.
This step just attach the Z-axis gantry assembly to the X-axis with M6 screws. In this step, you need to connect your Y and A-axis motors to the controller, if you use our control box, it is very convenient, just plug in the interface, once the motors are turned on, you can control your machine, jog your machine towards the front to approximately 10 mm from the C-beam end plate. You can move it multiple times so that the Y and A axis can be as parallel and vertical as possible, then disconnect the motors so that the motors aren't energized. You can turn the jaw coupler or ball screw to move the Y and A axis plates towards the front of your machine and only stop when Y and A plates are touching the C-beam end plate, the machine will automatically align while doing this, if long X axis, you may also need another people to help you. Double check if your machine is already square. In this step we use black angle corner brackets to fix the 2040 V slot to the Y and A axis C beam rails. Attach the M58 mm low profile screws to the black angle corner brackets with the M5 drop in T nuts. Repeat this for the remaining black angle corner brackets. Secure the angle corner tightly in the corner between the C-beam and V-slot 2040. Do same on the other side. Repeat this for both ends of the other 2040 V slot, after doing that, check everything again, if there is no problem, remember to tighten all the screws. The last step is to install four end caps to the four corners of the machine. Attach an end cap to front left end of the V-slot 2040 using two PCS M58 mm low profile screws, repeat this for the other three end caps on the other bare ends of the V-slot 2040. Congratulations, so far we have completed all the mechanical assembly parts and got a reinforced precision ball screw machine, thank you for watching.